Question. The nurse should ask the client with thyrotoxicosis about which of the following changes in the menstrual cycle. 1. Oligomenorrhea. 2. Dysmenorrhea. 3. Mephorrhagia. 4. Menorrhagia. Answer. Option 1 is correct. A change in the menstrual interval, diminished menstrual flow oligomenorrhea, or even the absence of menstruation, amenorrhea, may result from the hormonal imbalances of thyrotoxicosis. Oligomenorrhea may decrease libido in women, and impotence in men are a common attribute of thyrotoxicosis. Dysmenorrhea is painful menstruation. Metorrhagia, blood loss between menstrual periods, is a symptom of hypothyroidism. Menorrhagia, excessive bleeding during menstrual periods, is a symptom of hypothyroidism. Question. When assessing a client with suspected Graves' disease, the nurse should assess this client for 1. Cold skin. 2. Anorexia. 3. Tachycardia. 4. Weight gain. Answer. Option 3 is correct. Graves' disease, the most common type of thyrotoxicosis, is a state of hypermetabolism. The increased metabolic rate generates heat and produces tachycardia and fine muscle tremors. Anorexia is associated with hypothyroidism. Despite a good appetite and adequate caloric intake, low weight is evident in hyperthyroidism. Cold skin is associated with hypothyroidism. Question. The nurse is evaluating a client with hyperthyroidism who takes propylthioracil, PTU 100 mg per day in three doses for maintenance therapy. Which of the following statements from the client indicate a correct understanding of the drug? 1. I have excess energy throughout the day. 2. I have lost weight since taking this medication. 3. I am able to sleep and rest at night. 4. I do sweat throughout the entire day. Answer. Option 3 is correct. PTU is a prototype of thioamide antithyroid drugs. It inhibits the production of thyroid hormones and peripheral conversion of T4 to the more active T3. A client taking this antithyroid drug should be able to sleep and rest well at night since the level of thyroid hormones is reduced in the blood. Excess energy throughout the day, loss of weight, and sweating through the day are symptoms of hyperthyroidism, showing the drug has not produced its outcome. Question. A client with Graves' disease is treated with radioactive iodine, RI in the form of sodium iodide. Which of the following statements by the nurse is true regarding RI? 1. The RI destroys thyroid tissue so that thyroid hormones are no longer produced. 2. The RI stabilizes the thyroid hormone levels before a thyroidectomy. 3. The RI reduces uptake of thyroxine and thereby improves your condition. 4. The RI lowers the levels of thyroid hormones by slowing your body's production of them. Answer. Option 1 is correct. Sodium iodide kills the thyroid follicular cells, and thyroid hormones are no longer produced. RI is typically recommended for clients with Graves' disease especially the elderly. The treatment results in a medical thyroidectomy. RI is given instead of surgery, not before surgery. RI does not reduce the uptake of thyroxine. The outcome of giving RI is the destruction of the thyroid follicular cells. It is possible to slow the production of thyroid hormones with RI. Question. A 41-year-old female is diagnosed with hypothyroidism. The nurse should assess the client for which of the following? Select all that apply. 1. Rapid pulse. 2. Fine, thin hair with hair loss. 3. Constipation. 4. Menorrhagia. 5. Decreased energy and fatigue. 6. Weight gain of 11 pounds 5 kilogram. Answer. Option 3, 4, 5 and 6 are correct. Clients with hypothyroidism exhibit symptoms indicating a lack of thyroid hormone. Hypothyroidism's common signs and symptoms are bradycardia, decreased energy and lethargy, memory problems, weight gain, coarse hair, constipation, and menorrhagia. Question. A client with thyrotoxicosis says to the nurse, I am so moody. I have problems at work because I lose my temper very easily. Which of the following responses by the nurse would give the client the most accurate explanation of her behavior? 1. 
your behavior is caused by the excess thyroid hormone in your system. 2. Your behavior is caused by temporary confusion brought on by your illness. 3. Your behavior is caused by your worrying about the seriousness of your illness. 4. Your behavior is caused by the stress of trying to manage a career and cope with illness. Answer. Option 1 is correct. A typical sign of thyrotoxicosis is irritability caused by the high levels of circulating thyroid hormones in the body. This symptom declines as the client responds to therapy. Thyrotoxicosis does not cause confusion. The client may be worried about her illness and stress may influence her mood. However, irritability is a common symptom of thyrotoxicosis and the client should be notified of that fact rather than blamed. Question. A client is taking propylthioracil, PTU. The nurse should teach the client to immediately report which of the following. 1. Painful, excessive menstruation. 2. Constipation. 3. Sore throat. 4. Increased urine output. Answer. Option 3 is correct. PTU most severe adverse effects are leukopenia and agranulocytosis usually occurring within the first three months of treatment. The client should be instructed to promptly report to the healthcare provider signs and symptoms of infection, such as a sore throat and fever. Clients with a sore throat and fever should have an immediate white blood cell, count and differential performed. The drug must be withheld until the results are obtained. Painful menstruation, constipation, and increased urine output are not associated with PTU therapy. Question. A client with a large goiter is scheduled for a subtotal thyroidectomy to treat thyrotoxicosis. Saturated solution of potassium iodide SSKI is prescribed preoperatively for the client. What is the expected outcome of using this drug is that it helps. 1. Slow progression of exophthalmos. 2. Decrease the body's ability to store thyroxine. 3. Reduce the vascularity of the thyroid gland. 4. Increase the body's ability to excrete thyroxine. Answer. Option 3 is correct. SSKI is a preoperative medication administered before a thyroidectomy because it helps reduce the vascularity of the thyroid gland. A highly vascular thyroid gland is very brittle, a condition that presents a hazard during surgery. Preparing the client for surgery includes depleting the gland of thyroid hormone and decreasing vascularity. S-Ski does not diminish the progression of exophthalmos and it does not reduce the body's ability to store thyroxine or increase the body's ability to excrete thyroxine. Question. The nurse teaches the client with Graves' disease to prevent corneal irritation. Which of the following statement by the nurse is correct? 1. Massaging the eyes at regular intervals. 2. Instilling an ophthalmic anesthetic as prescribed. 3. Covering both eyes with moistened gauze pads. 4. Wearing dark colored glasses. Answer. Option 4 is correct. The treatment of mild ophthalmopathy that may accompany thyrotoxicosis includes measures such as wearing sunglasses to protect the eyes from corneal irritation. Massaging the eyes will not help to protect the cornea. An ophthalmic anesthetic is used to examine and possibly treat a painful eye, not protect the cornea. Covering the eyes with moist gauze pads is not a satisfactory nursing measure to protect the eyes of a client with exophthalmos because treatment is not focused on moisture to the eye but rather on protecting the cornea and optic nerve. In exophthalmos, the retrobulbar connective tissues and extraocular muscle volume are expanded because of fluid retention. The pressure is also increased. Question. After treatment with radioactive iodine, RI in the form of sodium iodide I, the nurse educates the client to 1. Rest for one week to prevent complications of the medication. 2. Take thyroxine replacement for the remainder of the client's life. 3. Assess for hypertension and tachycardia resulting from altered thyroid activity. 4. Monitor for signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Answer. Option 2 is correct. A lifelong thyroid hormone replacement is required. Permanent hypothyroidism is the major complication of rye treatment. The client needs to monitor for signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, 
not hyperthyroidism. Resting for one week is not necessary. Hypertension and tachycardia are signs of hyperthyroidism, not hypothyroidism. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and watch playlist for more videos.